What's good black people? First and foremost, if you're a first time viewer of my content of this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your notifications when you do. My goal is to reach 200 subscribers and once I reach 200 subscribers, I'm going to reach up to 400. But I'm going to be posting on this page and this channel until further notice. The uh, attacker uh, masked and he said, this MAGA country punches me right in the face. So I punched his ass back. And then um, we started tussling, you know, it was very icy. And we ended up tussling by the stairs, uh, fighting, fighting, fighting. There was a second person involved who was kicking me in my back. And uh, then it just stopped. And they ran off. Boy, shut your ass up. You sound stupid as hell. And he said, this MAGA country punches me right in the face. So I punched his ass back. And then um, we started tussling. You know, it was very icy. And we ended up tussling by the stage. And above all, I fought the fuck back. Is he first? Because any sissy that's out in Chicago at 2 a.m. in the morning is trying to suck dick and not trying to. Just moments ago, Empire actor Jesse Smollett, we learned, is now under arrest and in the custody of detectives in Chicago. He's facing a felony charge for allegedly filing a false report. Police, uh, he claimed the two of men attacked him. Last month, let me read you the statement. Actor Jesse Smollett is under arrest and in custody this morning, according to Chicago police. Uh, there will be a briefing later this morning at 10 a.m. Eastern time. A bail hearing is set for this afternoon. Now, for the record, I wasn't really going to speak on this particular issue, but a lot of people have been talking about it. Um, you know, from the jump, I already knew off the back that this man's story was false. Like, the whole story and the, the whole setting behind the story didn't even go together. You know, for somebody to say, this is MAGA country, 2 o'clock in the morning in Chicago. <laughs> but, um, this, that's besides the point. Um, what I want to talk about is how this man called himself the gay Tupac. You know, trying to correlate him defending himself um, and then on top of that, you know, he paid men that, from what I heard, were extra on the Empire show, TV show. Like, you couldn't find nobody else. You know, like, it just right then and there correlates with the people that you produce this TV show with. And it's just like, you know, for you to be an actor, I would expect you to make a better story and setting than this. You know what I'm saying? Like, what <laughs> this man got issues, and I ain't even talking about his psychological sexual issues or whatever. I'm talking about his issues in terms of him having to create this story to get attention. Now, could there be an agenda being pushed by this having so much attention? It could be. There could be an agenda um, when it comes to this homosexual agenda that's being pushed within the black community. Matter of fact, when this whole topic was being brought about, the first people who were being attacked were straight black men. I don't know if you noticed, but Vibe magazine made an article saying that straight black men are silent upon the homophobic attacks of Jussie Smollett. Now, I've been saying his name wrong this whole time. You know, I thought it was Juicy, uh, Juicy. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I just thought his name was kind of weird, but uh, Jesse, Jesse Smollett, um, made up this whole story, and based off of this whole story, I believe that this man made up this whole story to push this homosexual agenda either even further. Um, this even co-signs with the the Me Too movement, and this also co-signs with the feminist movement and the LGBT um, movement. And then on top of that, this is also to 
demasculinize the black man or to take down the, the masculine image of the black man. This also co-signs with the, the whole toxic masculinity rhetoric that these feminists are pushing. Because guess who this man have to basically attack him, supposedly attack him. This man brings two buff black men. <laughs> this man brings two buff black men into the picture. Basically, he is the one, um, Jussie is the one who paid these two men to attack him. You know, so that that's my observation. I believe that this whole story, this whole, uh, you know, this media attention that's being given to the story is just another method and strategy to take down the masculine image of the black men and to push for their own this homosexual agenda because they're talking about homophobic attacks and stuff. All I know is, for the same women who try and advocate for these homosexual black men, the same black women who try and advocate and condone the behavior of these homosexual black men, the same black women who are up in arms for the homosexual black men but then turn around and uh, devalue and emasculate their straight black men and then turn around talking about, where are the real black men? I don't want to hear that mess. Anyways, that's all I gotta say concerning this topic at hand, um, until further notice, but until next time, I'm Tyrone, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video with other people, comment below what you thought about what I had to say, whether you like it, whether you didn't like it, you know, share all that in the comment section below, um, again, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and support my business, until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I'm out. All my life, but they don't know all the wrongs that I write. When I grab the bat and pen, I search within to give y'all the real. I'm flourishing on purpose when I tell y'all just how I feel. I'm giving y'all my ideals, but y'all get distracted by bills like a Huxtable. And where I'm from, it ain't I, even when they pack guns like Lunchables. Let's make one thing clear. I want the glamours and glitz with the cameras that flick. Instead, I plan to get rich without my hands on the clip. Like a video editor, and I ain't got no competitors. These people I'm a true terrorist. I would never doubt. That this is where, where I belong You see what I've become, what I've become. My life is moving so fast, so fast My work is never done, it's never done y'all Through the looking glass, I see No time for looking back, The past is in the past, in the past, y'all The future's in my grasp in a place mentally like it's meant to be Heaven set for me, the universal entity Drive matches intensity